YouTube, Skype Mr. Boy here, back with another amazing video! And today we are watching Coventry City vs Preston North End. Um, the HH for this one is that we've won one, drawn four, and lost seven. Um, we always lose against this team. Our last three games um, we have lost against them, yet we are higher in the league against them. Um, but we've won our last two games on the bounce. Um, especially against Bristol, which happened on Tuesday night, which I, I was there, I made a video about, so it should be around here somewhere. But also I want to say a massive thank you to Gary, um, he knows who he is, but he gave me a um, 1987, I'm rubbing it, 1987 um, FA Cup final scarf, which I love, it's amazing. Gonna put that on display. A um, Coach City versus Leeds United 1987 semi finals um, program, which again is amazing. And then a um, Coach City A to Z history book, which I'm gonna definitely read and I'm gonna really enjoy it because I really love the history of this, this city. So I wanna say a massive thank you to, to him again. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again. Make sure you like, subscribe, be on that notification bell. Peace. Okay, so what's your name? Ava. Hi, Ava Rova. I'm going to this good one today. What's your name? Um, Ash. Ash. Nice to meet you, Ash. Um, so Keith, how is it being like a referee? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, um, obviously we have to go out and make decisions in a game, but we're involved in professional football, which everyone wants to aspire to get as high as they can in any sport that they do, don't they? So to be involved and to be running around with other professionals on the pitch is fantastic. I you know, thoroughly enjoy it. It's really good. It's always been great, you know, and I think we, we add to the we add to the game, we add to the drama, and um, you know, we don't get too much grief, do we? You don't give me any grief, do you? Uh, no, I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, have a good game. Yeah, I have a good game. Good fun. I enjoy getting on the grass and coaching players and trying to improve them as young men. We're lucky we've got a lot of good players that want to get better, so I enjoy the training the most part of the job. Um, when, like, when you're with Matt Robinson's pitch, what kind of happens? Like, do you each make decisions together or does Matt Robinson kind of make his own decisions? Well, he's the manager, he'll turn around and ask things. And, if he asks things, then you obviously pass your opinion. But obviously, he's the gaffer, and if he makes a decision, that's the decision. Thank you.
so it's the next day um, from the game now, next morning, and I've looked back at the game. I think it was an all right game. Um, I'm really happy that we got the equaliser in the 97th, 98th minute of the game. Um, Fabio Tierra scores. We did play all right first half. Second half, we kind of realised, like, we kind we started playing them more, like, in the first half. And then we went down from an unfor unfortunate penalty that um, Frankie Di Darbo tried to get the ball, but he actually just took out his, his opponent's legs and got a red card off of it. But Fabio Torreres from the final corner of the game, fi um, final free kick, final kick of the game, um, it gets half cleared away into his feet, and he shoots it, and it goes top right corner. Um, it's a beautiful goal. My man of the match, probably Gustavo Hamer. He got the goals assists, the free kick, kind of, and um, just played really well as a playmaker. So if you enjoyed the um, in like interviews with the ref and players, or well, not play like and AD, um, please let me know by liking, subscribing, and being on that notification bell. And also, I want to say a massive thank you again to Gary for. Um, giving me the scarf the match day program and the history book um so i hope you enjoyed this game like subscribe be on the question bell i'll see you in the next time william peace